and hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of The Zone, TV Movie Entertainments. Comic Con continues again and something kind of hit the internet that's kind of making people go a little too crazy. So I, I looked into it and um, it's pretty, pretty weird. So as you know, there's a new animated movie coming out for DC. It is Batman The Killing Joke based off the best graphic, one of the best graphic novels ever between Batman and the Joker and you know their ultimate showdown if you will so they decided to make a animated direct the DVD one name theaters kind of movie also rated R a typical thing right looks pretty cool have you seen the trailers looks awesome and a, sorry about that I'm a little sick um apparently there's a scene in this movie that's getting a lot of people very well, not a lot of people, but I mean, it looks like it's starting to get people uncomfortable and very confused. Uh, so everybody should know that Batgirl is actually in this movie. If you don't know the graphic novel, in the graphic novel, she gets shot by the Joker and ends up becoming paralyzed. Now, I have no idea if they're going to end up showing it in the movie. Who knows? But there's a scene that I just recently saw, and it kind of got me thinking, okay, this is kind of weird. I, I understand this as a rated R film, it makes sense, but kind of weird as well. But um, if you don't want to know, might as well spoiler alert. So if you don't want to know about this, but you're probably going to find that anyway because it's probably going to be all over Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff. So, warning. Apparently there's a scene where Batgirl and Batman are in the roof and they do more than just patrol the streets of Gotham. If you understand what I'm saying, they basically have like a little sex scene in it. So, listen, if you know me by now as a Batman fan, you know, he's my idol. I always worshipped him as a kid, still do. But this kind of got me in a weird spot because as an adult, I'm like, okay, whatever, sure. But then again, I'm thinking about, wait a minute, wait a minute. Parents are going to end up watching this with their kids. And they're going to be, I'm not a parent yet, so I really can't say for certain people if they want to show this to kids. By all means, go ahead, it's your child, you can do what you want. But I know there's going to be a lot of young kids out there who might want to watch this movie, maybe with their parents, because it's going to be rated R animated movie. So, you know, it's going to be very difficult to have kids see Batman and Batgirl get it on, if you know what I mean. I mean, usually, like... In the comics, yes, Batman has kissed, you know, um, Catwoman, he's kissed, you know, Talia al Ghul, he's even kissed Batgirl. You know, a friendly kiss, but I think this might go a little too, not not like in a pornographic way, but more too much weighted R kind of scene. So, that might not be cool for little kids, you know, like I said, it's up to the parents if they want to show it to the kids, but I look at this as two things. One, I see this as no big deal. I've already seen the clip. So far, what I've seen is this Batgirl taking her shirt off and Batman grabbing her by the, you know, the butt. And and then another thing, I'm going, okay, so that, that's sort of okay, but I might cut to maybe another scene. I mean, you don't see the full thing, but then again, I'm hearing things that there might be an actually a, a real scene with this. Like I said, personally, for me, I don't have kids, but if I'm going to see it, I'm not probably not going to care because honestly I don't look at you know the world like that as this is too graphic for me I can't watch this I've seen a lot of horror movies that have a lot worse scenes if you've seen the clockwork origin that movie has a, like a really hardcore rape scene but I do understand where a lot of people are going to be like whoa this is way too extreme even for children you know what I mean because you know Batman's a little Batman's a superhero for kids obviously including me I'm a kid at heart but you know it's going to be hard for people to really see what this is. Now, Warner Brothers has two choices. And if I was Warner Brothers, I'd probably cut the scene out. I mean, I know obviously the Blu-ray comes out in a couple of weeks. But I think you could still take it out. And maybe put it as an extended version of the movie. You can do it then to make it like an N17. It depends on how the, the, the scene is. Because if it's just them, you know, her on top of Batman taking off her mask. And her shirt off, then, you know... Do what you want, leave it there if you want, but, you know, make sure that, you know, other people know about this scene, so that way they don't have to show the kids if they don't want to, especially parents. 
And and then there's a, another theory for me where I think that if I was Warner Brothers and I want to make this movie very successful for animated movie, and you know Batman has done some good animated movies. You know this is gonna be the first time we see Batman, you know, rated R as an animated film. So I, I just don't understand what they're gonna do about this. They can either edit it out or just ignore it as much as they can. Maybe cut certain scenes of it. Uh, who knows? But like I said. Personally, doesn't really bother me, but you know, if I'm gonna see it with a little kid, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I can't show you this movie because this, your parents might not let me watch it with you, or you know, they might let, not let you watch that kind of thing. You know what I mean? So that's all I gotta say about this because honestly, I, I just found that out. It just took me a couple of minutes to actually think about something about this. So yeah, so actually, let me know in the comments. Do you think? First of all, have you seen the, this clip? And if you have, do you think it's appropriate for the movie or inappropriate for the movie? Now remember, the movie's rated R, but it doesn't really matter. Because even though if it's rated R, this could be potentially selling this movie for children as well. Because, you know, parents want to buy the movie, a new Batman movie for their kid and watch it with them. Even though they probably know it's rated R, but it's up to the parents. Or you think they should just leave it alone. So leave it in the comment below and let me know what you think. And uh, stay tuned for more Comic-Con news. I get as much as I can. So thank you and have a good day.